There seem to be a number of YouTubers suggesting that there's a bunch of people on the left who have influence or power who are egging on the collapse of the economy, or who at the very least laugh at the notion of the collapse of the economy. I'm not seeing it. I see celebrities in their mansions pushing the notion that everyone should follow the quarantine guidelines, not taking into consideration how many people are losing their jobs and their livelihoods, not considering how many people can't afford rent, food, or basic necessities. I see people acting as though the economy is invincible, and that shutting it down for six months somehow wouldn't have a severely negative effect on it. That's not wishing the economy to do poorly. That's not laughing at the economy doing poorly. I primarily see people being concerned about the spread of the virus. Having said that, there are people out there who want to see the collapse of capitalism. Thankfully, those people don't have power or influence. These people indeed do not seem to care about how many people suffer in the collapse. They view it as collateral damage. These people are disgusting as far as I'm concerned. And again, Thankfully, they don't have power or influence. Then I see videos with sections like this. But what happened yesterday was inexcusable. People did not have masks, they did not have gloves, they did not distance themselves. What they did was to help spread this disease around the state more, most likely, not contribute to the mitigation, and it just made me sad. If watching Americans exercise the first and most fundamental American right to petition government makes you sad, well... If you don't like America, why don't you get out? Where somehow, a person being sad that people are intentionally doing things that could spread the virus is actually sad because people are exercising their right to protest. It's disingenuous and stupid. It's as stupid as when George Bush said, they hate us for our freedom, in reference to Middle Eastern countries. Don't get me wrong, I think Gretchen Whitmer's latest quarantine efforts are oppressive and ridiculous. Stores shouldn't have to close off their garden centers and home improvement sections because they're considered, oh, non-essential. No, it's not as bad as what I hear about happening in the UK where police can search through your bags, but it's still oppressive and ridiculous. If people are at a store, they should be able to buy what they want. I mean, provided they're not hoarding something. Governor Whitmer watched the peasant rebellion from her perch in the Capitol building, inviting a CNN reporter into her office to broadcast her scowl of displeasure. And you know how this goes. I support your rights, but... You're all scum of the earth for exercising them. A small segment of the state uh, is, is protesting, and, and that's the right. The sad part is, though, that the more that they're out and about, the more likely they are to spread COVID-19, and the more likely we're going to have to take this posture, you know, for a longer period of time. I don't believe that Gretchen is giddy about taking away people's rights. I don't think she views the people protesting as peasants, nor do I think she views them as scum of the earth for exercising their right to protest. She does view them as foolish for going out and doing things that could easily spread the virus. Similar to how most people view those spring break college kids who were partying on Florida beaches. I mean, if most people in the protests were wearing masks, they were trying to do physical distancing, and they weren't blocking traffic, I don't think there'd be an issue at all with the protests. And let me be clear. Okay, these quarantines can't last for that much longer, or they will have a serious negative effect on our economy. It already has. If it goes on too long, we'll have an actual economic collapse, which would have far worse consequences than the havoc the virus would have had on society if we had not done anything. Mass starvation, riots, looting, theft, violence, misery. Do you know what we need? We need more testing. If we can do enough testing, people can get back to work without as much worry. Unfortunately, Trump doesn't think testing is really that important. He'd rather boast about, oh, we've, we've done more testing than anyone in the rest of the world. Uh, not per capita. Not per capita by any stretch. I wish we had a leader that really cared. Oh, well.